This is grade two, module five, lesson 20. Students are continuing to use their a variety of solution methods to add and subtract. So we're just kind of practicing adding and subtracting. Sometimes we're going to use the standard algorithm. Sometimes we're going to use some really beautiful mental math or some other shortcuts. So they, they're telling us that we're supposed to solve this addition problem and they'd like us to try and solve it in two different ways. And so let's do one way is oh, the vertical method. So that standard algorithm. So we've got 456 plus 244. And notice I've lined up the ones on top of the ones, the tens on top of the tens, and the hundreds on top of the hundreds. And when I add six ones plus four ones, that gives me ten ones, which I can bundle all ten of those ones for an extra dot in the tens column, and we have nothing left over in the ones column. And then we have five tens plus four tens plus one ten, so that equals 10 tens. And so all those 10 tens can be bundled for an extra dot in the hundreds column, leaving nothing left over in the tens column. And then lastly, we have 400s plus 200s plus 100 gives us 7 hundreds. So that's one strategy. So the answer is 700. Let's see if we could come up with a second strategy. Oh, I think a second strategy might be, uh, let's see, 456 plus 244. Oh, one way might be I can decompose this to 4 and 240. And I did that because if I add this together, that gives me 460 plus 240. Oh, let's see, what else can I do? Oh, I, I see. I can see that 400 plus 200, that equals 600. And then I can see that 60 plus 40 equals 100. And if I add those two together, 600 plus 100 gives me 700. So we have a couple of different methods to show that the answer is 700. You know, this one, I kind of worked my way into this little interesting way. I feel like I did it as a like a number talk or something. So teachers, parents, if a student is using a, an interesting strategy, uh, your task is to not chastise them, but your task is to look and say, hmm, is that method generalizable? Will that method work every time? Or is it only working because it's a coincidence? Um, so your task is not to just pigeonhole the student to force them to use a strategy that you're familiar with, take a moment and look at and listen to that student's thinking and um, kind of, as an adult, analyze it to see if it's a method that will work. And we have another problem. This one looks like it's an addition problem, but it's really uh, a subtraction problem, right? So one method is we could uh, subtract using the Oh, I think on this one, I'm going to do the, um, like the add-on method. So we've got 945 minus 698. And I see that this guy is really close to a landmark number. It's really close to 700. So if I add 2 to both of these... I'm going to get 947 minus 700, and I know that both of these problems, this original problem and this new problem, are going to give us the same answer. The difference is this one's way easier to solve. So 900 take away 700 gives us 200, and then the 47 right there. So this answer is also 247. So let me kind of shrink that down a little bit. So that answer is 247. Let's see, can we come up with another method? Well, I think another method would be just the standard algorithm. 945 take away 698. And we can see that 5 take away 8. We don't have enough 1s to take away 8. So we're going to unbundle 
So the four tens becomes three tens, and the five ones becomes fifteen ones. And now we can do fifteen minus eight. That gives us seven. And then you can see three tens take away nine tens. Well, we don't have enough tens. So we're going to unbundle one of the hundreds. That leaves us with eight hundreds. And instead of having three tens, we will now have thirteen tens. So thirteen tens take away nine tens. That gives us four tens. And eight hundreds take away six hundreds. Gives us two hundreds. So you can see in both cases our answer is 247. Tons of other strategies. These are not the only two strategies, but we are asked to solve using two. So there's the two that I chose. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 20, where teachers, parents, you guys are letting our students choose from a variety of solution methods to add or subtract. We don't want them to just blindly always use the standard algorithm because really, sometimes the standard algorithm isn't the fastest way. Sometimes it isn't the most accurate way because it's rife with uh, mistakes. Sometimes mental math or some alternate strategies are uh, better, more efficient. And so that was the point of this lesson, which was to practice both the standard algorithm and these alternate solution methods.